Hey, I'm Hajin Yu from Acryl Data. I'm here to walk you through Data Hub API 201. And excuse me for being a cat. Um, I look like a mess now, so thank you for understanding. Um, what we'll cover in this session is a quick walkthrough on three different ways for manipulating metadata via Python SDK and a live demo of CRUD on dataset. Okay, a quick recap, you can check all the API and SDK guides under API section on our docs. If you're unsure of which guide is located where, you can always check this table. Okay. So there are three ways of using Python SDK when manipulating metadata. The one way is MCP wrapper, um, which you'll be most familiar with. MCP by definition is one of the Kafka events that Data Hub makes for metadata operation. Um, it represents a request to change to a specific aspect on metadata graph. Each MCP provides a new value for a given aspect. So it allows pretty much all the manipulation on any metadata. And an example of adding honor to a data set through MCP would look something like this. So first you define um, data hub graph and the target URN and the aspect you want to um, modify. And then um, you have made a MCP band to propose the change. Okay, the second way is um, datahub.cli. It allows you to run datahub.cli commands from the Python SDK. This is quite straightforward and simple, but it is definitely limited to certain functions. Um, an example of deleting an entity through datahub.cli would look like this. So you define um, datahub rest emitter and then the target um, URN. And you can just directly run delete CLI method um, to delete the entity. Okay, last but not least, um, we have execute GraphQL method in Data Hub Graph. This allows you to run raw GraphQL query through Python SDK. So an example of um, deleting an ent entity through execute GraphQL would look something like this. You define Data Hub GraphQL and the raw GraphQL query string to delete an entity, and you can pass the query string directly to Data Hub Graph. This is very straightforward and will give much more flexibility with, within Python SDK. So I'm really excited for this. A big shout out to Harshal. Okay, let's walk through on CRUD on dataset. I'm going to use more than one way of running Python SDK along the way. Um, please note that this is not the only way and not might not be the best practice. And there could be multiple approaches to do the same thing. Okay, prerequisites would be a data hub instance running on local environment. And if you're unsure how to deploy it, check out our quick start guide. Okay, for creating data set, I'm going to use um, MCP. Um, and pretty much all the code snippet that I'm using for this session is already on the docs or GitHub repository. So for example, I'm using like pretty much the same code um, in docs here. Okay, let's just switch to the ID here. So I'm going to use MCP wrapper to create a data set. In MCP wrapper, you can um, define all the details and configuration for the targeted entity. For example, you can define the platform and the display name and all the fields, like the column descriptions, the data types of the columns, something like that. So let's just run this um, code. 
and see if that worked. Okay, let's just see. Um, let's just search um, the data set test and you can see the same exact um, data set has been created by the Python SDK. Okay, so let's read the data set through Python SDK. So in this case, I'm going to use um, execute GraphQL. So there could be a multiple way of doing this, but I'm going to show you how um, this can be done really simple. Okay. So all you need to do is define the data graph and the query string, and you can just pass it directly to the graph. Okay. Actually, you can just run this row query in GraphQL, and you can get the um all the information of the targeted data set. Okay, let's just run here. And you can see it returns the same exact um, information on the data set. Okay. And next we're going to use um data hub best emitter to add lineage between data sets. So um, in here, you can define the list of upstreams and downstreams. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to um, create a lineage between the test data set we just created and fact user deleted. Okay, let's just check. Um, nothing is here. Uh, we don't have any lineages yet. And let's just run this and see how it goes. Yep, it just created the lineage between this um, test data set and the back users deleted. Okay. So you can you know, create lineage um, via GraphQL and all the other things. There could be a multiple approaches to do this. Okay, and Let's add tags here and we'll use a execute GraphQL here again. And there is this uh, mutation called add tags uh, in GraphQL, which you can um, define the list of tags you want to add and um, um, the resource you're in, which is the targeted data set here. Okay, so let's just run this and you can see the legacy tag has been attached to the targeted data set. Okay, lastly, let's just delete the data set we just created. Um, in this case, I'll use um, datahub.cli. So, you can um you have to pass the URN of the target data set and um you can pass whether it should be soft delete or hard delete and yeah okay. so let's just try soft delete first um okay. my mistake okay if you do soft delete, you cannot um, search it through um, data search, but um, you can actually assess the data set through um, the URL directly. But if you do the hard delete, And then you can ask, um, assess the data set by the URL. So that was one of the difference um, between soft delete and hard delete. Okay, so I think I've covered all, all the things that I want to cover today. And I hope this helped with um, using Python SDK. And thank you for listening. Bye.